Hey guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale. Welcome to my channel, I'm a full-time reseller. This video might be a little shorter than normal. I've been battling food poisoning since Saturday. Um, I thought I was feeling better today, but you know, eh, not really sure. Um, that's why I didn't put out a video yesterday, but since I am my only employee, uh, you know, the show must go on. Um, so I am going to push myself through this video and hope I, um, you know, can give you guys something to watch and maybe show you some jewelry if you'd like to purchase it. So um, if you do see anything that you like, you can email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. All my info will always be in the description box below. Um, I'll have a sold list in the comments section. And um, just give me a brief description and timestamp of the items you're interested in. So what I want to go through first, um, where I want to talk to you guys about, is this jewelry jar or jewelry box <laughs> that I won from a fellow YouTuber, uh, Kawanda. Her name is Kawanda, and the YouTube name that she has is Kawanda Collectibles. And she recently um, reached 100 subscribers, and she did a giveaway, and I won. And um, she sent this filled, um, beautiful jewelry box of jewelry. Um, she also recently had a birthday, so I will put her link in my description box so please feel free to go on over and check her out and subscribe um, she sells jewelry and I wanted to show you guys some of the items that she had sent now this isn't everything um, I did pull some pieces for myself and for my jewelry monthly subscription boxes but this is what I wanted to show you guys and maybe sell if you're sell to you if you're interested. So let's see. So she did give me a couple pieces of sterling in here. Um, I believe I still have some in here left that I will show you. So it was really nice. All the jewelry was in beautiful condition and some of it was... Um, name brand some wasn't and then like I said some was sterling so it was a really a great prize um, so this right here is not branded but I just thought it was really pretty um, we had it's gold tone with these rhinestones I think actually I don't really need this one light here because well maybe I do all right we'll just go with it so this is a cute little brooch and I will offer this to you guys for $5 if anybody's interested. We have these really pretty um, cat eye blue earrings with the silver tone tops and some rhinestones. And I will do five on these as well. These have a nice um, substantial weight. They're not heavy, but they definitely feel like quality. Then we have these earrings. They are purple with the clear around the edges, gold tone. I'll do these for three. And I did test all of the sterling pieces and they, they are in fact sterling. But these are dyed shell and I'll do these for $3. I'll do those in a second. Here's another cute pair of earrings. Oops. These are glass, and I'll do these for three. It's kind of like a peach and a pink tone. These, oops, these I thought were super cool. She did send more than just earrings, um, but like I said, I kept a lot. For my jewelry subscription boxes and myself <laughs> so these are pretty cool matte gold tone earrings they would sit in your ear like so I'll do those for four okay so 
these I have talked to you guys about before. These are Catherine Popesco. Um, it has, she does the signature little shell right here on her jewelry, uh, mainly her um, earrings. And some of her earrings can be sterling, so please check them. Um, these I think might be gold plated but she doesn't usually mark her stuff and her stuff can go for a good amount, you know, nothing crazy, but definitely like $20 or up. And um, I think this is a red Jasper and maybe, I don't know that other stone, but it looks like it might be painted, but it's black, but really cute. So I'll do these for 10. Okay, now here are the um, sterling items. Um, if anyone's interested in this jar or um, jewelry box, I should say, um, I can sell it to you as well. It's just very heavy, so please keep in mind that for shipping, it's definitely over a pound. But I would do um, I would do ten on it. Otherwise, I shall keep it for myself. Okay, so here is one sterling item this i believe it's a little bit bigger of a um, bracelet size let me just i forget the measurement yeah it's um nine and a quarter so it could be a larger bracelet or maybe a an anklet but um it is sterling And it is marked, hold on, right up there. I just want to make sure, yeah, okay. Because my, my brain isn't really functioning uh, properly because of what's been going on the past couple days. But okay, so this will do, um, we'll do 10 on this one. And then these are really cute mother of pearl and sterling earrings. They are marked on the back. They're marked 925. What does the rest of that say? 925 OMA, I think. I'm not sure. But I think these are really pretty, so let's do these for 15. And then we have this really cute ring, oops. And this is sterling as well, and um, like CZ or glass. Super cute little double heart. And it is marked right there on the inside. And this is, wow, I'm surprised this ring fit me. It's about five and three fourths. And we will do 12 on it. All right, so that was the lovely jewelry from Kawanda, from Kawanda Collectibles. So don't forget to check out the description box for the link to her channel. And give over a subscribe poo all right, so let's go into the rest of this jewelry that we didn't get to go through, or we didn't get to finish last week. Um, so this is glass, and it has, it's really cool because it's, um, there we go, it's a chain under there. It is vintage, and it's an eight inch drop. It does look like somebody fixed it right there. So just so you guys are aware, but really pretty um, graduated glass bead necklace. We will do six on that. Okay, this little cutie. I don't see any maker marks. But I like it. A little puffy heart. A 
It's got an eight inch drop. Okay, yeah. And we will do five on that. All right, what's going on with this one? This is American Eagle, but it looks like it's um, multi-strand, but it's uh, pretty tangled. It would help if you guys can see that properly. Um, I don't know if anyone would be interested in this. I don't have the ability right now to undo this, so I'll just do $4 trying not to over exude myself here. This is really pretty. This is a rose uh, silver tone necklace by Premier Design. And this, the rhinestones have an AB coating. And it has an extender. It's sitting at seven inch drop without the extender. And I would say it's about a three inch extender. So this is really nice. We will do, um, we'll do six on that one. Just checking the clasp for any markings. This looks like for Nash, but I don't see any markings. And there's definitely a couple kinks in the chain. Let me just get that out. Okay, so it has a really pretty red charm. And it measures at a nine inch drop. And we'll do five on that one, it's pretty. Very good condition on that one. This one's pretty interesting. So it's got these like bullet style tassels. They are quite heavy. I don't see any maker mark. This is quite iffy to fit around the head um, size wise. But let me see here. I don't think it can open. It's a 12 inch. Yeah, I guess you can fit it around your head. 12 inch opening. We'll do five on it. It's pretty cool. I found one of these big babies. Where's the other one? Okay. Here's the other one. These are huge. These are clip-ons. Wow, these are definitely stunners, huh? Honkers. I mean, they're three inches. So let's do, um, we'll do five on them. Those are pretty cool. Even if somebody was to repurpose with them. Pretty cool. All right, we have this cute pearl necklace. Are they real? I don't believe so, but it's got some cute uh, clear and some silver tone beads on here. It's about a nine inch drop. We'll do five. That took a minute, sorry. I know there was a couple people that were interested in the last um, gold flake or gold nugget uh, necklace I had. So I have this one. It's just on a gold tone chain. 
and the drop is eight and a half inches. So we will do, um, we'll do 10 on it. You can always change the chain out. It's, um, you know, not the best chain, but it's what it came with. Here's a really cute camera pendant necklace. It seems like it has actual leather on there. It's pretty cool. It's pretty large on a long gold tone chain. And that's 16 inches wearable drop. And we'll do five. Oh, geez, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to go, guys. This is, this stinks, man. I've never had food poisoning before in my whole life. So this was definitely quite the experience. I did go out to eat Saturday, so I think that was the culprit. Um, my sister and my dad and my brother-in-law also experienced um, a little bit of sickness, but I have it the worst. So, yikes. It's not fun. I'm really over feeling like this. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like we have a set here. This The stretch on this is not very good, um, but it's really pretty. So I don't know if maybe somebody would like to repurpose with that. We have the necklace here, which is very pretty as well. And we have the earrings. Um, the necklace has some wear up toward the top here. It's about an a nine inch drop, but then it has an extender. So I will do, um, I'll do, you know what? I'll just do $3 a piece because the stretch on this is not very good. There's wear here. And I mean, these are just earrings. I, I normally sell my earrings between like two and $5. So $3 a piece. Okay, we have a Kenneth Cole watch. It is running. This, um, I mean, there's a little bit of wear, but it's nothing too crazy. Silver tone. It's seven inches around. And we will do um, $10. This is really cute. This is a cloisonne style uh, silver tone beaded necklace. You know Let me give you a total length on this one. It's 14 inches total length, so that's gonna that's quite small. Um, I don't know if maybe someone, maybe maybe a child or someone with a smaller neck, or maybe you can double it or, you know, for a bracelet, but it's only 14 inches total. So I will do five. <clears throat> oh, I see a ring. That's pretty. These are glass. There's a little bit of wear to the back. Uh, let's see, there's no markings. It's a green stone. It's a six and a half. And I'll do five. I may not even get through the rest of this bag, which is quite sad because that means this one gallon Ziploc bag will be lasting me three videos. <laughs> when usually I can get through one in one video. Okay, this is Cold Water Creek. This is very pretty. I like this. You have these stones here. They're carnelian color. I don't know if they're real. Um, some these are some are plastic, like this one's plastic, but some are stone, like these. We have some ceramic ones. Looks like there's a little bit of wear there, but this is really pretty. It has an extender. 
Without it, we're sitting at 11 inches drop. And I'll do five because there's a couple little spots on it. Okay, this is super pretty. So this is, I'm not sure of this maker. I don't think it's Monet because um, I think their M is a little different. But this is um, Verme. There's 925 there. And then you have this really pretty knot with these pearls. Super pretty. And there is an extender, but without it, it's eight inches to here, to the knot. And then it's another three inches. And it does have the extender, so the eight inch drop can go to probably a 10 inch drop. And it is for May, so let's do 12. This is cool. I like this. Oh no, it's broken. Is it broken? No, maybe not. Nope, I think that's just how it opens. Wow, that scared me. This is, what is that say? Where's my loop? Uh, Flusha? No. Something MUSA. I'm not exactly sure, but this is cool. It's gold tone, and you just pull it open here. That's why I thought it was broken, because I thought you opened it here, but you don't. So, really cool on this one. Love that. It is about a six and a half, and I will do six. It's in really good condition. We have some vintage clip-ons. These are so pretty. Look at that blue. These are glass, right? Yeah, so pretty. No maker. I'll do five. Let's look at these little guys. These are cute. I don't think these are stone. They might just be plastic. These are little uh, mice pins. So we have like a brownish with the pink eyes, green with the pink eyes, blue with the pink eyes. Little tack pins, five dollars. We have this ring, look at that. Wow, talk about a cocktail ring. This might be paparazzi because of the back, they always do the um, adjustable rings. So it's probably not glass, but it's still really pretty. So we'll do four. Okay, this guy is Crown Trafari. Looks like there's a little bit of glue on this pearl. Um, let's do six dollars. Sorry, I didn't show the back. I'm a little bit off. We have an alpaca Mexico bangle. It's eight inches. We'll do $6 on that one as well. There's no maker on this guy, but he's cute. All the rhinestones are there, gold tone. We'll do five on this little kitty cat. We have these, are these sterling? No. <laughs> They're pretty though, I like these. They're just a plastic cabochon in silver tone. 
do four. Oh, these are cool. Where's the other one? Where's the other earring to this one? Here it is. These are cool. Cool, cool, cool. I don't think they have a maker. They don't. They, they feel nice quality. They're gold tone with the red cabochons. Dangle cross earrings. Let's do five on those. Those are really cool. These are glass vintage AB earrings. We'll do five. This now, I believe I did test this and it is sterling. Where did I see the sterling mark? I don't remember. Was this the one? Let's test it again, because I don't remember. Oh, I'm not even going to do that. No, okay, never mind. Okay, so this is just a silver tone. Um, kind of like the Tiffany style with the front clasp here and you have a little dangle um, star. It does have a little bit of wear and it's only a seven and a half inch drop. Um, so let's do four on it. I have a cloisonne pendant. It's pretty. We'll do five. All right, guys, I might have to wrap it up. I got a bunch of earrings left and I really don't feel like sitting here matching them all. Um, what is this? Okay, that's broken. I don't know what happened here. So that'll just be craft. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna call it quits. I still have a little bit left, but like I said, a lot is earrings. Um, so I'll have to just wait for another video. I'm so sorry, I just wanted to get something out. Um, I'll try to do another one tomorrow as well, and then my purse sale will probably be um, Thursday instead of Friday because Friday I have my live variety sale with Margo on my channel at 7 p.m. and we're going to sell all kinds of different things um, from vintage hard goods to clothing to jewelry um, you know you name it we're going to have it so make sure you check that out um, and come hang out with us on Friday and um, my purse sale will be Thursday and tomorrow I will try to put out another jewelry video. Um, hopefully I'm feeling better by then. Okay, thank you guys so much for bearing with me. I love you all. Thumbs up for me and subscribe here if you haven't already. I appreciate you guys and we'll see you in the next one.